Kofana, Kong Clarence, <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, welcome, hello, nice worm, what worm, what are you talking about, I don't know what you're talking about, hello, Kofana, today we are going to finish Penumbra Black Plague, I'm excited and nervous, I'm really into the story, <laughs> but I'm scared, because it's a horror game. That means I have to play a horror game. Extra branch? <laughs> no glowy eyes? They're glowing a little bit, right? Just a little bit? You see? <laughs> Should we continue? I don't remember what happened. I think we found our dad. Who has sadly perished. And we're about to do a puzzle or something. Oh, we went in the cave. Oh, gosh. Right, I remember this. <gasps> you hear that? That wasn't just me who heard that, right? It sounded like a whale. Okay. Now I remember they were playing a horror game. <laughs> The story, though. Uh, this is Donkey Kong. I've seen this before. A gorilla is gonna come out from the top and throw barrels at us at the bottom. Also, my game is like stuttering a little bit, which makes me afraid that they're loading in twenty monsters. Who? There's probably. There's probably worms here. Uh... But we did see a worm and it wasn't that bad. Do I have to parkour up this thing? There's a ladder up there. What if I could just make this jump? Ow! Ouch! That really hurt. Ouch, Charlie! That really hurt, Charlie! Sorry, that's, <laughs> that's not what I thought of. Ah! I said I've been on an old internet kick lately, right? Oh, wait, is this what's supposed to happen? Oh. Oh. It snapped into place. I was just gonna... You know... Whoa! Whoa! Parkour it or whatever. Can I fling myself? Or maybe I just jump. Yeah. Oh. And never. If I heard the auto-tuned Charlie song. Oh, I don't know, but I feel like I must have, right? That was the era of auto-tuned parody songs. Like double rainbow. <laughs> 
Wait, hold on. I never do this anymore. Um. Whoa, that's a full rainbow. <laughs> double rainbow. Oh my god. Double rainbow. A double rainbow all of the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I never use my auto tune or my GoXLR anymore. Just sits here. Really heavy, but I think I can move it. <sighs> I'm so strong. Are you impressed, Clarence? I mean, yeah, more monkeys for the incinerator. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I don't think Clarence was impressed with me. Oh no! But this has scared him too. I think Clarence is starting to have human emotions. Right? Oh, oh, Clarence, did he give me? Am I alive? I don't like how he's wiggling. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Is this a comedy game? No. Though, Clarence... Really? You can't just... Just jump? Ah! <laughs> Everything has to be hard? Oh! Sounds... Sounds... Horror game being played by a comedian. Ow! Ouch! My legs! Ouch! Ouch! Alright, I'm good now. Just pop some Tylenol and you'll be okay. Even if your legs are broken. Um, do you mean me or Clarence? Who's the real comedian here? Me or my parasitic brain worm? Just me and my parasitic brain worm playing video games together. What do you mean you can't reach it? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. Just reach it. What's the problem? Ow. Is this wrong? <laughs> Mm. Ow! <laughs> oh no. Okay, I should. I think I'm wasting these. My poor legs. How? What am? How? Can I not put, like push the ladder? Like grab it, push it up a little bit. Ah, oh, Clarence is gonna start making fun of me again. Oh, turn around on top. Oh. You know what? You have a good point. Mm. Just glad that rock didn't fall on me. Oh, it really is quite amazing. You monkeys and your problem solving. I can't tell if he's Do being sarcastic or not. Small singular brains. Isn't it terribly quiet not hearing the thoughts of every one of your brothers? Ah. Uh. I think Clarence is starting to come around. I think we're bonding. I think this is bonding. Oh, oh. Emma Bell. Came. I guess I didn't really expect you to bother. My lab partner's such a pessimist. Was such a pessimist. Is she talking about her parasitic brain worm? He tried to make it through to me not too long ago. I guess he's a bit late for the party. You'll have to make a quick detour. She has a nice voice. Next, but be careful. If the cold doesn't kill you, well, let's just say I didn't pick the safest of locales for my last ditch survival attempt. Over okay, the surface. Good news. Um, I guess. Good news, good news. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, I think <laughs> I've got a cure. Well, it's that's good. I don't want to be cured. <laughs> I'm not sick. I don't I'm think not I'm sick. Infected. I was careful, but I guess if you come rescue me and I'm looking at you like you're a roast chicken, I got it wrong. Hmm. 
Sorry. That probably wasn't funny, was it? No. I suppose not. <laughs> well, I hope to see you soon. She's so yeah, nice. Yeah, cures, <laughs> rescue, saving the world. All so cliche, all so ridiculous. Do you really think you're doing the right thing? Your morality is just a lasting stain left behind by religion. He's... he's speaking... speaking his truth right now. <laughs> okay, I guess. I guess I leave. A cure! I had my doubts by then, but I didn't have much choice. I resolved to find Amabel and put things right. I feel like we're almost to the end of the game. It's so bright out here. <laughs> I'm still in the dark. Oh. Uh, I'm not He's so soon, Derek. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel better. Huh. Very you would try to make me feel better. Gives off lots of heat. Okay. Spray can. Wait, can I light this on fire? Do I still have a lighter? Flammable? Oh, gosh. Hold on, hold on. There's already flammable stuff in the barrel. I might die... ...of exposure... <laughs> ...out here. What happened to my... Didn't I have a lighter? I guess I used it. Ah. Mm, a flare! Wait, hold on. wrong. Nope. Batteries. Nope. Come on. You can... You can... You can <laughs> light it on fire with a flare. Can't throw it. And, oh! Please. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Need to find shelter! Is this not shelter enough for you? Philip... Philip? I'll just have a look around. The red light. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Uh-huh, huh? I might just die, and that's fine. <laughs> we'll get it next time. A shelter! Ah! Now, if I were you, which arguably I am, I'd be mm -hmm. asking myself in a gormless sort of voice, did that bridge really oh, no. collapse, or is my good friend Clarence just playing at the He's gaslighting me again. Oh no! <laughs> I was just a little too slow. Oh, now, oh, oh. If I were you, which arguably I am. Wait, shoo, shoo, shoo. Wait, 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 wrong. Formless sort of voice. <laughs> Did that bridge really collapse? Or is my good friend Clarence just playing an hilarious jape? The answer, monkey man, is that I don't even know myself. <laughs> One way to find out. Please, don't get us killed. He is gaslighting even himself. You're a silly, silly little worm, Clarence. You know that? <laughs> we could be a team, you know, you and me. We can rub our single brain cells together. For heat out in the tundra. Hold on, I don't want to die. Just... Just warm yourself. I mean, I am tempted to just walk across it, but... I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I mean... This is heavy. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Too cold. See, I'm a master of building bridges. Some 
Something you wouldn't understand, Clarence. Master of burning bridges, more like. I mean... <laughs> seems like I'm dying here. Uh, it's too cold to solve puzzles. It's too cold, Clarence. Can you take over for a bit? <laughs> It's parkour over here. Is this what you want, Clarence? Ooh. And what did she mean when she said that there was danger here? Oh wow, I really left this place a mess. Okay. There were dogs on the surface the very first time we were here. Hmm, this charrette. He's plastered all over the mine like a garish wallpaper. He wanted to die and <laughs> we wouldn't let him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he's kinda humming up the place, if you know what I mean. <gasps> He's gonna erase my memories of red? That's pretty cruel. He's speedrunning all the dairy types right now. I think he's getting jealous, Clarence. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that's nothing. That's just the light. Mm. That's true. These are my sad memories, so he can take them. I will be... Too far away. Uh huh. Would you say you won't be able to remove him by hand? What if we blow this barrel up? Too close to the explosion. That's true. We we experienced that before in the first penumbra. We have our cloth. Oh, are we gonna make a Molotov? Hold on, hold on. I don't want to die. I'm crafting inside. <laughs> How are you losing blood in the <laughs> hypothermia? Oh, you're healing. Healing by the fire. We have alcohol. We have a dirty old cloth. We have a lighter. Yeah... I mean, I thought that you were gonna make a Molotov. But... <laughs> that's not really what you did, huh? We had a bottle, didn't we? It was an alcohol bottle. I guess it was plastic. Yeah, maybe it's enough just to... I don't know. Just use the cloth? Oh! Oh, we're making a fuse. We love to make a fuse. This is Philip's specialty, is making fuses. Ooh! No Molotovs, but a fuse is okay. But you guys said that I have, like, a couple more hours. I feel like we're almost there. <laughs> Maybe I just want to almost be there. I want to meet my British friend with a nice voice. And I want to achieve world okay. peace with Clarence. So, Ooh. On the to-do list. Find this damsel in distress. Kill the bad guys. <laughs> cure infection. Save the world. Chances of success? Nil. Chances of survival? Well, you got old Clarence on board. That should speak for itself. Chances of you buggering things up royally? Almost certain. <laughs> okay, this is very creepy immediately. At least we have old Clarence here, right? 
Right? We'll survive. <laughs> Kennel. Are the dogs back? You wanna take a seat? Rest your weary legs a little bit. Oh. That's great. I don't like this. Can we go back outside? <laughs> Definite dead end, huh? Well, we can go to the research room. Oh, yeah! There was the thingy with light coming out of it. I don't like this music. You know, you turning <gasps> up here is probably the second best thing to happen to me since I've been down here. I'm reserving first place for when we get out. So... I'm not big-headed enough to think you came all the way here just to rescue me. I wasn't My lying, lady? Though. I think I've worked out how to disinfect you. But... You probably saw this coming. I don't know it's if I trust her. Quite as simple as all that. Oh, wait, that's just the paranoia speaking, though, isn't it? That's one of the symptoms. To seal myself in here. And that mm -hmm. means... We need a key card to get me out. One of the personnel... One of the... Uh. ones. <laughs> tried to get in with a card. Oh, no. I don't know where he... Where it went. Oh no. no. I I need Boss you. fight. And, well if you do get me out, I'll give you the biggest hug. She's of your manipulating life. me. <laughs> Everyone's right. manipulating Go me. Go there, this from me about. <laughs> Typical broad atypical circumstances. You think fate has anything to do with this? Fate is merely the war cry of those too scared to think for themselves. You're so right, Clarence. You're so right. <laughs> so true. Mm. Ew, can you believe I'm actually using the <laughs> flashlight? <laughs> kind of don't want to, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. It's very dark in here. Oh. Don't like it here. Uh. Yep. Don't like it here. Can I parkour over this? <laughs> uh. The filter is on for you. You see about what I see, I think. The Archaic would never ask that employees work longer than the recommended eight-hour shift, but understands that enthusiasm for their work and dedication to the team may often motivate them to do so. Thank you for not letting us down. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Thing, but I don't like it. Oh gosh, I really <laughs> don't want to go in here. You hear that? You heard that, right? Can I even hide? Won't Clarence rat me out? That little B word? <laughs> He's just gonna be like, over here, over here. I'm hiding in the corner. Was it just the rocks? I'm not brave. <laughs> Clarence, can you like talk to me? Just talk me through it. Is this mold? See this? Hmm. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> Do you hear this? It's a slime mold. You're loving this BGM? That makes one of us. Oh, you! What's that? Why is it wiggly?
What is this? Is it a trash bag or an egg? <laughs> Maybe it's trash. <laughs> it's scary trash. <gasps> Ew, what's in there? Ew. Why am I digging through the trash and then being like, Ew, oh my god, so gross. I can't believe that was actually something. I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave, I'm brave. Da 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 Clarence, talk to me. I'm lonely. <laughs> it's scary in here. Dogs? Wait, is this the kennel? This is the dog music. Oh. <gasps> We don't have a broom. Dogs! <laughs> I love how I immediately heard the music and I was like, Dogs! It's puppy dog time! Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? Ah. Dark, isn't it? Oh shoot. Did, did he take over my brain? Kinda empty. Now this this is I'm okay with this. <laughs> Very deep within the cavern. You can play the rest of the game, Clarence. I'll just watch. You see. This is what puts me in such a bad mood. Mm. We spend all this time messing about with door codes, levers, mm. human appendages, and it turns out at the blink of an eye, I can just block it all out. Whoosh! Gone. Just you and me on some kind of messed up holiday. Just me and Clarence? You think I can conjure up some margaritas? <laughs> no? Please do. Shall we get the hell out of here then? Well, it's hardly uh, better, but it, it is more interesting. Just... Okay. We're still in the same place. <laughs> we could be just the two of us. Crawling in the walls. Okay. I mean, if you say so, Philip. Drinking margaritas on the beach. See, I don't see what the problem is. Why can't we? Why can't we have that? Why not? We don't have to fight. <laughs> mm. We're in the Arctic. We can just leave, right? If we just put aside our differences. What happened in here? I don't know, but I don't really want to look. Are these baby hands? I think they are. What did it say? Do this? I got plenty of batteries. Still. Oh. Why would there be children, though? <gasps> Puppy.
puppy dog hands. <laughs> Following them backwards. Oh, <gasps> the puppies. What happened to you? Did Fauna come here with a broom? Oh, no. Another dog killed this one. <sighs> horrible. <laughs> Just horrible. Kennel is just cursed. Did I even get anything from coming in here, though? Except for trauma? Um... <laughs> Am I supposed to do something in here? <laughs> Sense of completion. New nightmare. <gasps> From the last game. Oh no. No claw marks. Like a worm. <laughs> I don't like this. Nope, nope. Sure, don't like this. Green worm, stinky worm. Gross a worm. Oh, oh, yay. Put my soul in here. These things, they're taking me. They're taking me. They need me. They're beckoning me in. That doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Efficiency assessment is sanctioned by Elof Carpenter Elevated. Subject Wilbur Frisk. We heard about this person. February 20th, 2000. My assessment of Frisk begins today. I have taken up station as his personal assistant and my report will run for six months since taking over control of the facility from Bren Stafferson in 1980. Frisk has turned up precious few results and I intend to discover why. Having observed Frisk for two weeks, it seems my earlier assumptions may have been quite incorrect. He displays passion, efficiency, and above all, commitment to the cause. These qualities are ably demonstrated by his recent discovery of what's being called the Turngate Tomb. At the primary excavation, he has, of course, called for a full-scale investigation. A small-scale epidemic has resulted from the opening of the tomb. This will be a perfect opportunity to fully observe Frisk's ability to deal with high-pressure scenarios. That's kind of a messed up thing to say. <laughs> That's kind of a messed up thing to say. Even if it's true. <laughs> Shouldn't you be more concerned about the epidemic? <laughs> the epidemic has developed beyond all control. 
There have been many casualties and it's hard to not highlight Wilbur as the primary cause. Frisk has lost all control. While a number of survivors have fled, all others have holed themselves up in the mess hall. Frisk has chosen to lock himself away in the kennels with the remaining dog for protection. I have had no choice but to follow him here in order to complete my report. You're too committed to your job. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get out of there. I've lost sense of time, but Frisk seems to almost be enjoying himself. He has become very close to the canines. Every day he leaves the compound forage for food in the main base, which he then feeds to the animals, despite a number of them being infected. Frisk has developed some strange symptoms. He is becomes, becoming sensitive to light. The slightest light scares him away. Light is important, because we have seen that. Maybe that was the tomb that we saw and light was shining out of it? I'm not sure. He's also displaying almost animalistic tendencies. He's been digging out some of the walls and hiding behind them. Oh. <laughs> I guess we know who's in the walls. Further, I suspect he may be sneaking out of the facility at night, possibly even into the mines. Some of the dogs have turned up dead. <sighs> I have been observing Frisk for some time now, and I believe I can conclude my report. Frisk displays outstanding efficiency, though I am now forced to call his judgment into doubt. Only now. Only now. Despite plenty of rations remaining, I believe he may have begun eating the canines. Reminds me of uh, the spider guy. Spider is George. When I woke this morning, there was a corpse lying on the floor beside me. I broke out the flashlight, fearful Frisk may have been savage or taken his own life. As I did so, I could not help but see, at the corner of my vision, Frisk fleeing back into the shadows. The dead man was Dr. Roberts, a scientist I was sure had escaped into the mines at the first signs of the epidemic. He had bite marks in his side and looked to have been dragged some way. In addition, his tongue was missing. I will continue to observe Frisk while taking additional security precautions. Oh. Mm. More dedication than I would have. <laughs> Can't say I would do the same thing in this situation. Oh, great. I, I touched it. Great. <laughs> That's just a great. I don't like it. <sighs> I thought this might be open now. Not open? There's no fighting. hate the light, doesn't he? <laughs> ouchies, ouchies, ouchies! Frick off! Where are you? Where is he? <laughs> I can't see him! Typical dark mode user! Oh my god, so true. When someone posts a screenshot and they use a light mode. 
the comments are just... <laughs> How could you do this to me? You hated this part? I think I understand why. man even Aha! Wait, what what in the walls how does he hurt me from in the walls is he really invisible Is it the panel? But it was already on before. I guess it was the panel? But I assume I have to turn it off. Eventually. Right? Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, wait, yeah, maybe I can... Oh, maybe I can fill in his... <laughs> barricade his... His tunnels. Is that really gonna stop him, though? I don't know. Can I move this thing? Troll him a little. I know, I feel like this is not really going to stop him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this thing would be better, but I don't think I can push it. It's too heavy. Can I move anything else? Hmm. Hmm. Try it. Need to be forklift certified. Try and get me now. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> he still got me. He still got me. Can't touch that. Okay, I'm getting less afraid though. That's good. Or maybe it's bad. I still hate the sounds. Puppy dog? Bush, bush, bush. Bush, bush, bush. Mm. Oh, these maybe? These look a little bit <laughs> more sturdy. I'll give them a try. And there's two of them. Perfect. He really is invisible. I wonder if we'll ever see him. I don't want to. <laughs> but maybe I do want to. Huh. Ho ho ho. -ho. If I never see him, then he's... He cannot... He, mm, did you ever have a, a dream that you could... Uh, when you were... A, uh, if you don't see him, then your imagination can make him out to be as scary as you want. It does not perfectly cover it, but... 
Maybe it's enough? When you, when you... When you wanna win a win a win you... It was a dream if you was a winner win a booty would you? Am I supposed to go this way now? Program to just search out danger and throw yourselves head first at it. I'm starting to become seriously desensitized here. <laughs> I love how it scares Clarence too. How does that even happen? Oh, this again? Do I need more boxes? Do I have more boxes? Yeah, I think it might be all in my head, but... Is it startling Clarence as well? Or is he just pranking us again? That's also possible. It's timed lights. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't like it! Okay. Light. Light the door call. This isn't that bad. I can do this. Scammed. <laughs> Scammed. Yeah, it is. This is red light, green light. This reminds me of the... Squid Game dub that I was watching. A little dark. Seems okay. Hello. Well, it's not really okay. Oh, a key card. A key card. I wish I had a way to defend myself. We're gonna have to go back, aren't we? Key cards. <laughs> I hate key cards. Whatever happened to good old bolts and padlocks? That's what I want to know. Ooh. Better save? I wish I could. It probably did save, though. That's so like you, Clarence. It's just like you. To hate key cards. So quirky. Okay. We got the key card. That's great. That's great. Cool the fashioned brain worm. He is. So, oh. want to let her rock a few more hours, <laughs> make her really a good idea. Daring rescue attempt, or shall we go let her out? <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. Not a good idea. You're being disgusting, huh? Clarence. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Eh? Oh. No one here. <laughs> Clarence, you're thinking too loud. Can you stop thinking for a little bit? Just stop. Just stop. Okay. 
Shelter Research Station is encountering technical difficulties. Oh, Please have your that's personal so. cyanide capsule at the ready. What a baby. A baby. <laughs> oh! Beautiful. The miracle of life. Part of the process. No, they they are part of the process. They're taking me, sealing me inside so that so that the virus can grow. They're partitioning my mind, putting me inside so that he can take over. They're imprisoning me. <sighs> Faderade! I'm out of coins. Oh. Wait! Where'd the baby go? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the music in here is kind of nice though. Oh. What? I would not say that it has good vibes though. <laughs> in fact, I might even say it has bad vibes. Especially if it weren't for in the... The music. Oh! So sad. Now we have to have a funeral. <sighs> you got anything to say about all this, Clarence? Also, where's my... My friend? Very distinguished. Dogs! I don't know what that is, but I don't like the fleshy tones. Okay. Dr. Swanson's office? The washroom? Not looking healthy. What? You'd rather not use the toilet? I mean, it's... It's great if you have a choice. What have we done? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. They're still playing the nice music. Lock him in here. Ah! He is, he's just walking at a brisk pace. Uh oh. So boa boo 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 boo.
<laughs> this dude. Did I confuse him? Juked. How do I get him to stand there? You gotta stand here. Who screamed? Why was that a lady screaming? <gasps> no! Oh my god! Slapping the back with a crowbar, why don't you? Oh, uh, one thing before you get too overwhelmed with glee. Oh my god. Fun, but, uh, didn't you quite like that broad? Hey, I think that's a piece of her skull on your shoe. Wait, don't tell me you really thought <laughs> I thought you knew I was pulling your leg. <laughs> oh, don't call me a silly billy in this moment. <gasps> this th this is just terrible. You silly billy. Come on, monkey. Take a joke. <laughs> oh, I really... He... 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 Got me. A hundred percent. Holy moly. I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't even think twice about it. Oh, no. We killed her. Clarence. Why? Oh, why are they always <sighs> holding a key? Or a note? <laughs> or a swipe card? Why is it never, I don't know, a, a cheese sandwich? I'm starving. Why did she break the door? Who knows if there was even a door in the first place? Clarence is manipulating our mind. He can make our reality anything that he sees fit. Oh... The worm... The spider... The egg... I knew it was too good to be true. Oh... How can we have worm peace now? <sighs> oh, was this also a room we were supposed to be able to use? Maybe. Really strange fauna. Seems like deformed... You keep that comment in your pocket, okay? Don't say that about me. Oh... I like this game, though. I actually like this game. I've never played a game like this before, I don't think. Where you, your, your perception is manipulated into being something it's not. By the parasitic brain worm in your head. I think it's... It's a very interesting concept. All right, we have a key. <sighs> Anything? Oh, now we have no one to talk to on Skype. Oh, ew, ew. why is it moving on its own? Clarence, stop, Clarence. I've had enough. Stop. And then he called me a silly Billy after committing murder. <laughs> Boring. Where's the game? <laughs> 
It's so true, Clarence. So true. You want to get off, Clarence? Is a wild ride. Uh, shmup. Not exe. Do not run this. Never run a program called shmup.exe. That's just a word of advice for you. Mm. I'm gonna run it though. Oh shoot, there's a password. I think it's password. Oh, I think it's... Sh it's... Sh shmup. I think it's... Clarence? I think it's... One, two, three, four? I think it's... One, 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 one? That's not one. One, 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 one? Okay, I love in games when you guess the password, like, before you're supposed to. Hmm. Hold on. Antidote. If you're reading this, I guess you won't have to put up with me anymore. Oh, oh, I know you have tried your best. That's kind of messed up, but we killed her. So I suppose, thanks for giving me that at least. I thought I'd knock something up here to you, just in case I wasn't around to do it myself. Sorry, it's a bit formal, force of habit, I guess. Abstract, the purpose of this procedure is to formulate a cure that will stabilize the infection in the host if possible, reject it entirely. Experiments have shown that injections covering as much as 50% of brain tissue can be reversed at an 80% success rate. In rare cases, the mixture will destroy both host and infection. Ah, the luxury of having no choice. She had no choice. Ooh. Compound mixer. Chemicals. Fairly important. Without this, it'd be just one big old rat poison. <laughs> That's not so bad, though. If I'm going out, I'm taking you with me, Clarence. Most important additive is substance 65. I've only had access to 12 and 67, which have proved to work with varying degrees of success. 65 has similar, though exaggerated, properties to 67 and was discovered just before infection, so it should still be quarantined within the chemical labs. All chemicals should be combined. Uh-huh. Chemicals can be poured into the machine in any order. That's a bit atypical, but... <laughs> um... Substance is to be inserted into a container slot. Wait, what? They can be poured into the machine in any order? But it's vital that they're mixed in the following order? Oh, they can be stored in any order, I guess. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hose can be injected. Depending on the severity of infection, we're taking it all, Clarence. We're taking the whole three milligrams. Stored in the examination room. Predicted effects. Since the viral aspect of the host mind is liked, likely to be a weakened or inflicted portion of the original host identity, the final state of the host is unclear. I guess I've, I'll never give up on the fairy tale ending. It's also likely that some remnant of the viral capabilities may remain. Telepathy, memory, perhaps even the ability to communicate with the central nervous system. Seriously, though, even if we didn't quite get our happily ever after, thanks for trying, you meant a lot to me. That's really sad because we killed her. Clarence, you are a silly Billy of the silliest Broad, degree. We, uh, sorry, you mm. And she's still chatting a lot of piss and wind from beyond the grave. That's about as likely to work as aromatherapy is to cure Are you cancer. scared, Clarence? Are you a little bit afraid of this cure? Are you getting scared? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, the chemical airlock is open now, I guess. Hmm... General status. Critical. Transportation inaccessible. Chance of survival 78%. Wait, that's not so... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I see. Experimental status. Subject chimpanzee, lab rat, human. 
Condition unknown. Hmm. Hmm. Visitor throughput. Last new visitor, one year, two days ago. Last confirmed exit, eight days ago? Hmm. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Life support 36% catering offline. Transport offline. Communications internal only. Security offline. Plumbing. 100%! Thank goodness. <laughs> See, you can you can use the restroom. It'll be okay, Philippe. Recorded event. Accident. 18C occurs. Construction starts. Construction complete. Substance 63 and artifact 66B discovered on site 6. Investigation of tomb. 35 logs corrupted and cannot be recovered. Research status. Complete. Outcome negative. Oh. Complete. Outcome negative. Ongoing. Outcome unknown. I need the password. What's the... What's her name? I forgot her name. The woman we killed. I cannot even remember her name. Uh... Amabel, you're right. I mean, why would her password be her name? Like her first name? <laughs> mm. Is it possible to find the password? You gotta, you gotta search her. Maybe she's got her last pass master password written down somewhere. It's just an easter egg? So I should just steal the answer from chat, even though I didn't get it myself? <laughs> we do have games on our PC! <laughs> Frictional games! <laughs> Oh, baby. Now we're living the life, Clarence. This is more like it. This is what she was doing this whole time. I wonder what her high score is. Clarence, you seeing this? We can be gaming, Clarence. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. My ship's kind of weak. <laughs> ah! Clarence, why are you so quiet? This is... Oh, I got the laser! Blaze Brimstone! The music's kind of a banger, though. Suddenly, a very comfy. You can just play this for the rest of the stream, right? <laughs> My laser is still not very powerful, though. Ooh. Ah! New high score? I'm good. What'd you think about that, Clarence? Oh. Somehow it feels extra spooky now. <laughs> Just store a little more of yourself in here. That's fine. Okay. Um. We got information now. So we need to go to the... Uh... The chemical lab. I think. Oh, I wonder.
wonder if that guy is still walking around outside. Oh, I can't believe that I killed her. Oh. Clarence! Clarence! I still have no words for what Clarence did. For what I did, I held my anger tight to my chest and used it. I used it to keep going. I intended to use it to cure myself of Clarence forever. I still like how even though he, like, hates him, he's still calling him by his name. He's not, like, it, that thing. That disgusting parasite. He's calling him by the name that he wants to be called. You know you'd be awfully what? lonely without me, don't you? Yeah. We're really not that bad together. Why don't we just call it quits? You're so shall? toxic, Clarence. If you stop trying to destroy me, I'll give you a shiny. Penny. What can you even give me, Clarence? You don't even have anything. You're a parasite. You're nothing without me. All right, he's still there. Which I hate. Uh. Maybe he won't come all the way around this way. I hear him. Chemical lab. Oh. Why does it have to be so far? Wait, am I supposed to go to the examination area too, though? Didn't they say something? Did we were, th were we there already? Uh. Um. Hmm. South Exit Research Facility Examination Area Kennel and Chemical Research Lab Chemicals are in the exam room Okay Go down the hallway Go right Go right Right Left Or no, we could go... we could go... Right, forward, right, the left, right, forward, right, left. <laughs> Maybe right, forward. Right, left. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Clean, clean. <laughs> Fauna learns to use a map to great success. Oh, this room is great. This room is excellent. I should plan my route though to the next room. Yep, I sent that already. Still thinking about it, I guess. Ooh. I love when we just store our chemicals to randomly in drawers. That's great. Oop. Maybe I don't like this room. Spooky. Why so spooky? There's no way anyone's in here with me, right? <laughs> but they're really... Putting the ambience up. the chemicals? The sounds... Don't say clippers, get ready. I hate it. You haven't played this game. I know you haven't. <laughs> You're just saying that. I 
know you haven't played it. You don't know. <sighs> oh, great event. Oh, boy. Do I have, like, um... How's that going away? I don't know. You figure it out. Another way? Oh, wait, there's a nice painting. You're right, it is out of place. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's an amnesia classic right there. It's kind of a nice painting. Is this a real painting? It looks like it could be a famous painting. Is that rust or blood? The classic question. <laughs> Everyone's favorite question. Rust or blood? Alright, first of all, get your... Shortcut ready. Perfect. Stop making sound. You're not allowed to make sounds. Sounds like a whale. Sounds like crickets. <sighs> if Clarence... Imagine if Clarence just started, like, screaming randomly. <laughs> he could totally destroy me. If he did that. Oh, there was something hiding here. Oh, I wonder if I missed a bunch. If I've not been looking thoroughly enough. <sighs> I did miss a bunch, did I? I hate the sounds in here! I'm too short. Philip. Well, all these drugs. There's bound to be a big old needle at the end of this. That'd be enough to put any man off. No shame in that. <laughs> you don't want to catch anything. You think no I'm afraid of needles after all of this? I don't want to catch anything, huh? Like a parasitic brain worm? Clarence getting scared. Oh. don't like that. Um... Hmm... I... I... Is that thing going to come to life and... and start chasing me? How many chemicals? We have four right now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost assuredly? That's connected to the belly button, by the way. So... Don't worry. Oh gosh. <laughs> Susan, if you're watching, this is an umbilical cord. Um... Don't get the wrong idea. What happened to my hand? Hmm... I really don't trust this thing. <sighs> Susan is gone. Uh, Neil, is that who we talk to now? But Susan is so iconic. Just an umbilical cord, Neil.
Did I miss one or do I have to do the thingy? Uh, oh! I'm in the drawers. <laughs> A lot of shelves. There are some shelves. Shelf, shelf, shelf. Shelf! I didn't search this desk. Which one? This one? I think I did. Behind the books, these ones? <laughs> Just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh wait, these books is right there. Okay, I don't like it. This is the part where the... The dude comes to life. ground, I'll be safe. Okay. We have to... do it in the chemistry lab, right? We need the substance 65, right? But I don't know what this thing is in the other room. again. Don't worry, nothing happens yet. I don't trust that. I don't trust anything. Don't trust. Don't trust. I saw him. Is that not the chemical lab? Oh, wait, no, maybe it's this way. Chemical lab? <sighs> Clippers, you can take a break. <laughs> Don't say that. You never know. I could say something funny at any moment that they would like to clip. <laughs> Don't say that. Clippers! Be at the ready at any moment. You never know. Oh, oh. damn. There's a gas leak. Guess we won't be getting through today. Let's come back another light. He's getting nervous. Clarence monkey. starting to sweat. Monkey. I love when he calls me monkey. <laughs> That's a joke. Um We have a whole gas mask. Clarence, why would we be afraid? Okay, except that I am afraid. I don't like this. Only opens if something is terribly wrong. Is this not an emergency to you? Wait, another lethal gas leak. Hmm. What the heck? How do you see anything, Philip? I think I unlocked the door. Oh. Stop. I can't see. I cannot see. How to turn the gas off? Oh. I need to calm down. I just don't like hearing Philip breathing so loud. When I can't see anything. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. I didn't understand. I get it. It's like ASMR. <sighs> 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 
Do we want the pipe system to be intact? <laughs> Christ, what am I thinking? Okay. So we can gas into the room. Stop it, stop it. Do we have like silly putty or something? Oh. Oh. Any silly putty in the trash cans? More debris. Oh, do you ever call it Debris? <laughs> Debris is my best friend. Mm. Just for fun, you do? I don't know, lately I'm like suspicious of everything on the internet because, well, I've done this before. <laughs> It's where you say something wrong on purpose so that people will will comment on it and correct it and then they'll boost your engagement. It's like the, the tier list, right? <laughs> That's why you always have to put something controversial in the thumbnail. So that people will click on it and then they'll go in the comments and be like, Oh my god, I can't believe you send it oranges are F tier. And then Neil is like, Yo, people love this video. <laughs> But I I keep seeing people. I feel like that's really catching on now. Like I keep seeing people like purposefully doing math wrong, like simple math or purposefully saying words wrong. I don't know. I'm I'm on to everyone. <laughs> I'm going to start saying Debris now. <laughs> Is the answer to the puzzle in this room? <laughs> I'm scared it's not. What do I even have? I need some silly putty. Ah. Uh, it is in this room? The answer to the question, if you're in the room with us, give us a sign. Use a pipe on the floor. Wait, you're smart. Does this help, though? Oh! Oh my gosh! There's a safety lid. This one? You can't saw it off? How's that going? I don't know. Put your back into it. Put your freaking back into it, Philip. <laughs> oh, it worked. <laughs> okay, I take no credit for this one. This one is... Oh, oh. Sapling puzzle. Stop breathing so heavy. I hate it here. Pick a right turn. Monkey, they're, they're everywhere. Don't go on. Turn around. You'll get us killed. Switch. Guard. They... <laughs> don't us. trust him. I don't trust him. There's a switch back there. Be careful. Switch? <laughs> the monkey sounded cute, you think? Oh my god. What is Clarence doing to me? I don't know. I don't know what's real and what's not real. Does he want me to live? Does he want me to die? Gaslit. I'm so gaslit right now. 
<laughs> Is that a switch? Ma 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 monkey. No. Not switch. when they play the scary music. Goodbye. 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 A switch! Clarence, you... You... You piece... <laughs> I flipped the switch, Clarence! Where is he? Oh, he's there. Blick. Timed? I thought I was pretty fast. Oh, shoot, you're right, it is timed. creeps too. Here he comes. Don't say that. Don't say that. Where's the exit though? Look, just wait a minute. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. You don't have to go through with this. We can be. Uh, stop, stop, Clarence, stop. I don't want to die, monkey. Oh gosh, now he's trying to play the sympathy card. Using his. using his. his nickname for us. <laughs> I don't want to die, monkey. Should have thought about that before you became a parasitic brain worm, huh? Huh, huh, huh? Are there multiple? Do you think they're both timed? Because that would be kind of annoying. Oh, goodness. I don't want to die, monkey. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Wait. Wait. Be careful. Something's wrong. Workers are inefficient workers. Always wear safety goggles when handling hazardous materials. Yeah. And be sure to store your personal cyanide capsule well away from yeah. archaic issue aspirin. Oh, I love crane games. <laughs> How do I 
I grab it? How do I grasp it firmly? Push the button, probably, I guess. Oh! It's just like being in Japan. I don't like this. Oh, wait, there's a save. There's a save. <laughs> I feel like if I hit the side, it's gonna explode. Bay was a master of the crane games. She's so good. <laughs> Not me, though. Uh... Is that gonna go in? Maybe I can push it a further just a little bit? He's waiting! Yeah, yeah. He can wait... his turn. Um... Wait, how do I open the thing? How do I? I would like my prize now, please. Ooh. Oh. Oh shoot, I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it, aren't I? <laughs> A substance contain oh, what? What do you wish to engage the emergency security? I don't know. Is that gonna like open the door or something? I don't know. <laughs> Did I break it? I did break it. Please. I could learn to live with this. It might not be so bad. We'd be like roommates. <laughs> we could take it in turns to drive. Just think about what you're doing. Is there an emergency? Yes. We could be roommates. Did I cause the emergency? No. Emergency. Yeah, flesh eating monsters. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Oh my god. This is so classic. The facility is currently in a state of emergency and the emergency security procedure cannot be engaged. Oh! There's so many babies. Stop! Oh, this thing. Termination in two minutes. Oh, God. Go! Go! I hate it. I'm so stressed out right now. You have to go! Ow! Ow! Touch! 
touch it. Touch it. Can I touch it? Where am I even going? Where am I even going? I'm freaking out. Wrong way. With the substance in tow, I was close to ridding myself of the disease. Once that was done, I hoped to be able to contact the Turgay mind. And as had my father, I had to know what it was they told him to make him give up like that. I had to put it into this. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking you've got a way to destroy me. Wanna know what I'm thinking? What? I'm taking you with me. I love when he says that. I can't see anything, Clarence. Stop laughing. Oh, goodness. My goodness. I don't know where I'm going. Wait, am I supposed to go back to that one room? The exam room. Ah! Can spread Stop gaslighting me! Oh. Was this the right place? So, here we are. End of the line. No gold watch, no. Thanks for the laughs, Clarence. I mean... Nothing. Just a potion and a big fat screw you. Yeah, pretty much. Good times. I mean, I th thanks for the laughs. It really was a teehee funny moment. It really was. You're the highlight of my trip here, Clarence. <laughs> um... Is this... The thing? We got the substance, right? But I glitched it? I glitched it. <laughs> and then I hope it still works! I keep glitching the game! <laughs> it's the second time. Okay. Okay. Am I calm? Am I relaxed now? Oh, all chemicals should be combined within the ZX3V2. I'm guessing that's what this is. Okay. The store will be automatic and chemicals can be so... Uh. Note that due to an error during manufacturing, the lower button row got reverse numbering, making the rightmost start at 4 and increasing to the left. Um... So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh huh. I'll put that in there, I guess. Oh, I hate you. Hate you. <laughs> hate that. Hate that. Don't turn the lights off. Okay. Yeah, I know no one had a label maker. Also, they were just like willing to accept the... The faulty machine. I guess. <sighs> Alright. But I'm confused. It says... Chemicals can be poured into the machine in any order, but they must be mixed in the following order. Oh! 
But you can pour it in any order, but then you push the button and does that do the mixing? Maybe? But how can... I feel like you should just pour it in the, the order that you want. Because otherwise it will be so confusing. How will you remember? <laughs> okay. Chlorine. Acetone. Iodine. I'm just gonna do half first. Chlorine, acetone, iodine. Chlorine. Acetone. Iodine. Chlorine, acetone, iodine. Bromine, nitrogen, sulfur. Oh, that's... wrong. So far. And then I just go... Philip, let me live. <laughs> I kind of want to, though. I kind of want to let him do live. You don't have the balls. Go on, I dare you. You're some coward, four-legged freak. You barely have fallen oh down God. the swamp. You haven't got it in yet. <laughs> and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? You see? I knew you wouldn't do it. That puts me in the steering wheel now. Ha! Ho, Silver! Wait, failed? Wait, why did it fail? Not correct. Check page two again. Uh oh. They'll be automatically stored in the order listed above. Oh. Well, that's very inconvenient. Oh my gosh. So, okay. Oh my god. So we have to do... 2, 1... Two, oh my... 2, <laughs> two 1, 4... Am I one a piece of paper? I'll write it in my phone. <laughs> Two, one, four. Two, one, four. Two, one, four. Six. Five. Three. I think. Good thing that they let me try again. <laughs> Two, one, four, six, five, three. Oh! <gasps> I don't know where the way to go. Oh 
goodness. Oh goodness! <gasps> what are you doing to my boy? They killed my boy! This one was more human than he would have believed. Mankind, for his actions, I am sorry. For this next misconduct, I am sorry. Do not hate me. Oh goodness. It's true, I turned him into a monkey and and now they won't accept him. He has been rejected. This place is your mind, mankind. If you know yourself, you are nothing to fear. I, on the other hand, stand to lose everything. One came before mankind. Scary. How word? How word? That's my dad. But I know mankind is weak. Nonetheless, I do not underestimate you, mankind. I submit to you. However, really? I must, against my own desire, tempt your anger further. Mankind is not united as I am. Such a That's true. Mankind together strong. Monkey together strong. I do want revenge for what you did to Clarence. Can I like take a personality quiz now? Is that what's happening? I'm gonna determine. Oh. Oh, it's so bright. It's the soul cairn. <laughs> Iron bar. Oh my god, they killed Clarence! What do you mean? What are you thinking? Nope. There's another cell behind this wall. What are you thinking? I don't know. You can use this like a... Uh, use it like... Oh, there's a hatch. It's too heavy to... Yeah, use it like a... A seesaw. That's not what I mean. Like a lever. Oh. Who's coughing? Okay. Crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Get some leverage. Ah. Ah. I swear they use that exact sound effect in Amnesia. I would not tempt mankind's wrath in destroying you. I am more charitable than that. Oh. Are you? You've destroyed a lot of mankinds, right? Rocks fall, that web. Oh. You're right. This is some kind of test. You're you're right. I failed. And I'm just you. Can I can I talk to this crying person? This section is awful. Maybe we're just not good enough humans. Did I have a choice when I went down here? Or do I just die? <laughs> I would not tempt mankind's mm -hmm. wrath in destroying you. I am more 
uncharitable than that. And then you take me back to my cell? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You use eyes. Ah. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, through here. Pass me that pipe, man. I can Pass me the out. pipe. <laughs> Come on, we haven't got much time. It's not the kind of pipe that you are thinking of, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here go. <laughs> I'll be back. Moments before demonetization. Oh, I'm scared. Good luck. Did you unlock the door for me? Oh! Look, humanity, we can be bros. Did I do it? Listen, I don't know if I can really represent all of mankind. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure, man. Are you a human? I don't know. Rocks are whispering to me. This reminds me of that one Mario Party minigame. I'm not gonna pull that. I'm gonna use my brain. This is just like the Mario Party... Is it Mario Party 4 minigame? Where you're searching the maze. Are you my friend? We're friends, right? We're friends, right? Oh, we're not friends in this world? Really? Maybe I should be pulling the levers. Don't think you can break it by yourself. Can you bait this man's? Come here. It's just an umbilical cord, <laughs> don't worry. I wait. I still don't really like to look at this, though. Ow, ow. Did he not get the door? Ouch! Oh... Maybe this is not the solution. <sighs> you see how less scary a horror game is once you make it bright? <laughs> Oh, we were at the top of that. Uh-oh. Wait, I don't know if I want to kill him. Isn't... Won't I fail the test? If I do that... Isn't that something a mean person would do? <laughs> Break the thingy, but I guess I'll just kill him. I think I'm gonna fail. I didn't. Uh oh. Oh no, I think I failed the test. Oh no. <laughs> I tried to use him. I tried. I died. <laughs> is vicious. This I You're vicious too, I man. He tried to kill me too. You understand? Ha. <laughs> Just tank a hit right in front of the door. You're right. That's probably right. I feel like this 
this might be relevant. Just, just hold. I don't know. <sighs> Come on. Let's go. I will tank it hit for you. This though. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Dodge. Really? Yeah, I don't think it's working either. There was another switch. Yeah. I'll try it. I wonder if it just also. Kills him. <laughs> oh. It's a calling symbol? My friend over there? This friend? Um You think it's an actual umbilical cord? It is, I told you. Doko. It's really low for an umbilical cord. Okay, before you guys were making fun of me for having a belly button that's too high, and now all of a sudden it's oh, that belly button is way too low. You guys are just not satisfied with any belly buttons. Can never win. Yeah, what's the ideal belly button for you then? Ding dong. Ding dong. Ping pong. Oh my god! It's it's a doorbell. <laughs> it's a doorbell. He's answering the door. <laughs> I see. Pizza's here. <laughs> Death is a necessary part of life. But not That's true. Ain't that the way? Necessary. Ain't that Very just the way? Pizza time. You literally just got pizza? Oh, I want pizza. I want pizza. Pizza is one of the foods that makes you want it the most. Oh gosh, we're connecting to the hive mind. Maybe we can find Clarence. Maybe his... His memories still live within us. Yeah, like pizza. Every time anyone mentions pizza, I always want it. But that's not always the case with other food, you know? It's like just pizza. Is that the same with you? When you hear pizza, you want a pizza? Ooh! Is this a guillotine? What do you mean you won't be able to open it with brute strength? It's open! A heavy rock. Put it here. Maybe not. Maybe? Oh. Put it here. <laughs> Sometimes the correct answers are the most obvious. Unless it's not. This is a trial. So who knows? Trying to get away. Oh no. 
That trap also seemed to be broken now, so it should be possible for me to pass. I'd better be up for the task ahead so that guy didn't risk his life in vain. Don't worry, I'm up to the tasks. Oh! <laughs> now another human can come along and continue, right? Did we pass? <laughs> this is just like a Daedric Prince, it is. Need to start thinking like the Torn Gate. Was I not thinking? Oh. 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 Huh? Huh? My number is Ah! I see the needs of the many outweigh the life of What's going on? I don't know. I'm just Clarence. Miss Clarence, why did they have to kick Clarence out of the... Out of the hive mind? If he was still part of it... We would be okay. I'm sure. Ah! Don't do it, man. Oh, wait, do I have to... I have to warn him somehow, maybe. How can I warn him? <laughs> Maybe. Don't do it, man! Careful, it's a trap! I hope it's not a bug. Yeah, I need to use my shout. I don't think I can set off the trap in time. Hey, man! Oh! Maybe? Like this? Was this here before? It probably was. I just ignore- I mean, I know it was like the last few loops, but... The first loop? Is he in here? sound fleshy? Um... It is a timer. But I don't... I don't trust it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what door I'm even closing. Oh no. <laughs> I have failed. Oh, to bring the rock in. Oh. I see, I see, I see. I understand. <laughs> it will hold the door open for a moment for me to bring the rock in. All right, I understand. I understand. Sorry, I'm just a feeble. Kieran. Pretty much just a human. Not that different. Except that I have magical powers. And I'm really cool. And I have a golden apple and I have horns out of my head and I live forever. But other than that, I mean, I'm pretty much the same as a human. Don't 
don't soft lock yourself. That would be bad. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. Not soft locked. Not soft locked. They did say that the lives of one mm, were one and the same. He will die up ahead anyway, but now I die first, I guess. Ah! <laughs> oh! Now we are this person. That's me! That's me, dead. I sacrificed myself so that another man could live. And yet in some way I am that other man now. Feels as if there's no clear distinction between my own self and another person. I was bald the whole time! I know, right? The, the Soma vibes. <laughs> Is this a frictional games game after all? Oh! <gasps> Paradise. The Garden of Eden. Did I pass yet? I am relieved, mankind. Do not be yeah? such as you. Selfishness would be catastrophic. You have shown that you can be higher than you did. And for this reason, I shall reveal to you that which I revealed to Howard. Howard. <laughs> My dad. Is it is it the Elder Scrolls 6? Please let it be the Elder Scrolls 6! Please! I came here to this place many millions of years ago. Before mankind was even upright. As eons came and went, mankind appeared around me and found names for me. Demon, spirit, turn gate. We existed in harmony for much time. I lying dormant within what you refer to as the infected, and they benefiting from my knowledge and protection. Mm. But mankind changed, and I fled. So much power. So you're mankind. saying that mankind so is corrupted you and, and that's why you turn people into monsters? Oh. Mankind oh. grows and tries to form a whole, a community. Somehow it becomes more dangerous. More angry. Oh. And with no direction for this anger, besides itself and its world. And then I was discovered. Mankind created this place to find me and silence me. They tore open my resting place and set about destroying me. And I, with no form of defense, mm. was forced to attack. I am not the barbarian. I am not the invader. You are. It is kind of true, though. But you, mankind, you are different. You have proved this. And mm. now, I ask for your mercy. Do not allow me to be destroyed by your kin, which they would surely do. They followed the Inuit here. And you I mean, yeah, we them. could just lock you and up you and are. keep you sealed you in the tomb forever and just go about you our business. All trace of this place. So that no mankind Except I feel like mankind will find you again. This and this will just keep me. happening. But sure, I'll do it, I guess. It won't happen again for my lifetime. Oh, but I probably have to bury myself in here, huh? Can I meet Clarence again? Execute email.exe. Compose. There are things I need of you. Oh, this is the letter that is written at the start. 
not sure what to do. I must think, think, think. Not yet. I need to think. To get out of here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, think, monkey, think. Where's Clarence? Clarence would tell me what to do. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is very amnesia. What year is it? Where am I? Will you do this for me? It asked, and I said that I would. I promised the Hive that I would contact someone I could trust. That I would have them destroy- Oh wait, this is- no, this is what Howard did! We're Howard right now. Are we- are we just looping? <laughs> no, we're just looping! Just as my father had promised himself, I, however, will not make that same mistake that my father made. You now understand the truth of the events that led me here. The immeasurable importance of my words. Armed with this knowledge, you must have the strength to do what which I could not. The turn gate was quite correct. We humans are a dangerous, heart, headless herd, but intelligent individuals. Mm. The members of this facility sought to reveal and to control the turn gate, and the turn gate turned to me for salvation. The hive ran its tests on me, and I jumped through its hoops like the monkey it took me for. But I am no monkey. The turn gate was right. I am entirely unlike it. I had more in common with Clarence. Uh, I promised I would send this email to you. I promised I would ask you keep all humans from this place for the sake of the turn gate. And for the human race, I lied. If we are lucky, then by the time you read this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. The Northwestern Mine is located at reference N81.6914 West 58.3154. Kill them. Kill them all. We're getting revenge for my boy. <laughs> Dang, that's the end! Interesting. Interesting. I feel like I would have sealed them off. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I did say, like, if you seal them off, this is bound to just happen again, but... They did kill Clarence, so... <laughs> yeah, we... I don't know, I like it because I feel like it might not be the... It's a very human choice, right? To kill the hive mind in the end? They didn't have to make that choice. But that's kind of the point, right? It's like, yeah... Humans, we can be merciless. ...had more in common with Clarence than the Hive. Mm. <laughs> I liked this one! I might like it more than Amnesia. Penumbra Black Plague. I might... It might be my... ...number two. <laughs> Fictional games game. What? You don't agree? Yeah, this one is more philosophical. I agree. I think that's why I like it. Amnesia? More feels like your classic kind of... Well, I don't know. I guess Amnesia is cool too because you have like the... You have Daniel is also evil in the end. I don't know. <laughs> that one's kind of just like the... The fight between Daniel and Alexander. Who are both evil. <laughs> this one had Clarence. This one had Clarence in it. Oh, don't tell me this. Oh, we almost found all the notes. <laughs> Four hours, 14.5. <laughs> 
41 minutes and 5 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Agrippa was good. That's true. Agrippa was good. Mm. I liked Clarence. And I liked how they... How they, um... Manipulate your perspective in the game. Like, physically. I think that's really cool. The idea that there is a brain worm who's literally... Changing what you see. I don't know. It makes me want them to revisit that concept. Because I do think this game is, like, pretty clumsy. Overall. Like, you probably see it too. It's a bit clumsy in its execution. I think... But, like, Soma... It's, like, perfect. <laughs> so, fictional games could definitely... They've refined their craft over the years, you know? I would kind of want them to reuse this concept. And, like, make it... As good as Soma. <laughs> yeah, very mid-2000s. Yeah, like, the idea of the protagonist being... Like, an unreliable narrator? That's very interesting. I mean, there are aspects of that in Soma too, actually, but... In Amnesia too, actually. <laughs> but I think that would be... I don't know, I think they could... They could take this concept and make something really, really cool. I do like this one, though. I like it. I'm a fan. Clarence was really funny. I do wonder if that, like, impaired some of the horror aspect. <laughs> because of how funny he was and made it less scary. But I'm not gonna be mad about that. I will take it. Because <laughs> Clarence is the best character. Anyway. <laughs> I could take this concept. That's true. But I'm a, I'm a Frictional Games fan. We'll see. I wonder how the new one's gonna be. The Bunker. I'm kind of skeptical because it has guns and I'm like a stealth horror purist. <laughs> no weapons in my horror game. <laughs> Why did I kill him? I wish there was a choice. What if there was a choice? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go to my room and... It's gonna be... A flashbang. Wait, did I just get brighter? Was I extra in the dark the whole stream? Maybe. Are my eyes glowing more now? Mm. I am. <laughs> I forgot I had a filter... ...on myself. Okay, hold on. You're going to see a flashbang. Be prepared. Prepare your eyes. <laughs> oh. I like to think that the reason... We decided to kill the Hive was to get revenge on Clarence. Because we did... Or get revenge for Clarence. Because we did mention him right at the end. <laughs> My eyes! It's still Christmas, yes! Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I know, I do think my character hated Clarence, though. But what if... Oh my gosh, this is kind of dark. But what if... We got, like, so... Gaslit by Clarence that we didn't like him by the end. Like, we got so manipulated. Even though he forced us to kill someone. Kill an innocent person. <laughs> we got Stockholm Syndromed. By the end, to be like, oh, he wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> he called me a monkey. He called me a monkey. <laughs> he was. He's literally in our head. <laughs> I got Stockholm Syndrome. I don't know. I really like what they did with that. I feel like that's such a good concept. Like, I want them to explore it more, you know? 
explore that idea more fully. Especially like the idea... I don't know, I just like, I remember... Something happened... And I was like, oh, I don't trust this person. And then the game was like, paranoia is a symptom of infection. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> I don't know, it's... I like that, I like how the game... They make you feel... Paranoid, and then they're like, look... You're feeling paranoid because you're infected by this brain parasite. Yeah, I thought it was well done too. I feel like they could... I don't know, I feel like they could do an even... Better job. How are we feeling about Penumbra Requiem, though? I don't know if I will play it. Because I feel like this was a, a good end. Uh-oh, the Steam reviews. <laughs> no, no, no. The Steam reviews. Heard it's less good. I might just leave it here and then. I think I'll just leave it here because I'm pretty happy with how it ended. Don't play it. <laughs> Resounding no. Not a horror game, really. Penumbra Requiem. Let's have ourselves a little... ...perusal of the comments. Mm. I see. It is just a puzzle game. It's not a... It's a puzzle expansion for Penumbra Black Plague. This is not a sequel or really even anything else. Mainly just additional story fluff and complicated puzzles. Hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to finish this. It's not a penumbra game. I'm not allowing this to be in the same good light overture is. And the less than good light Black Plague is in. Really? This person liked... Overture more than Black Plague. I liked Black Plague way more than Overture. Personally. <laughs> Overture. I mean, there were things I liked about Overture. I just felt like... It was... I mean, it didn't feel like a complete experience. It felt like the setup. It was also a bit clumsy. The stuff with Red was pretty interesting, though. The broom. <laughs> Black Plague had better enemies. And it had Clarence. <laughs> How do I feel about puzzle games in general? Um... I think I like them. I'm always hesitant to play them on stream. Because I worry that I'll take too long on the puzzles and it'll be boring to watch. And also because I always steal the puzzle solutions from chat even if I don't mean to. I just, like, do it on accident. <laughs> but I... I don't mind doing that for horror games. <laughs> Understandable. Borrow, you borrow them. I don't know, I don't think it's the worst thing because... Like, it makes the... It makes... It keeps things moving, you know? It means I don't get stuck. But maybe it does... Uh, cloud the pure puzzle experience. I do want to play Silent Hill. Are there remakes on PC? Or are they released on PC at all? Or are they on PlayStation? I'd be interested in playing... Silent Hill. They're not. <laughs> they were working on one. The remakes are coming. Two and three have awkward PC ports. Mm. The Konami perms. Oh, is it impossible? What about Fatal Frame though? Isn't that possible? Maybe? I'll play. Fatal Frame.
you have to stop at a specific chapter. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I don't know if I would do it then. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it. I think I'm going to play Bioshock 2 next. I think that will be the next game that I play to completion. I'm just looking like it's almost my birthday. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And super fast. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna survive. <laughs> but... Wow. I am afraid. I'm immortal. Am I? I don't think so. Nature is not immortal. I'm more immortal than you are. <laughs> it sounds so mean. But it's true. <laughs> but I just claimed to be... Well... I claim many things. In the heat of the moment. <laughs> no need to be so brutal. It's more of a threat, you know? It's like, you better take care of nature, otherwise you're doomed too. Sorry, I know that it's... There's not much you as an individual can do, is there? I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that you're good saplings. You are! Look at you go. Look at you... Capturing carbon from the atmosphere. Look at you go. Good job. <laughs> this is why we should join the hive mind. Oh, I'm just sad that they didn't give us like a clearance end. Oh, I kind of thought they would, but maybe that'd be too cheesy. But I wonder if I just wanted to hear Clarence at the end come back and be like, I lived, monkey. <laughs> no Clarence route. Ah. The true end. Uh, I know, I didn't even like stick around long enough to see him take over that body. I was out of there. I knew something bad was gonna happen with that body. I knew it. <laughs> uh, and then he got beat up by the others. That was so sad. And it was our fault because we corrupted him. But it's probably what he deserved. I mean, he did many bad things to us. He made us kill an innocent woman. We made him weak. Chekhov's corpse! Really though, it really is Chekhov's corpse. <laughs> I don't... I, I knew something was up with that. You don't just put a corpse in a room for no reason. In a horror game. Well, sometimes you do, but not a monster. Not like a... A, a non-dismembered monster. Alright, alright. Thanks for watching. I'm actually a fan. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. I feel like... I don't know. It's not... Perfect game. By any means. It's... I can definitely see, like, the clumsy execution, but... I actually really liked it. <laughs> I liked the... I liked the ideas that they have going on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for its time, it's good. That's why, I don't know, I don't want them to, like, redo it. <laughs> I don't know if it should be like a remake or they should just take the concept and make something different. Seven out of ten with nine out of ten potential? Maybe. But seven out of ten, like what scale are we on? I don't know. What scale are we on? Are we on a real scale or a fake scale? <laughs> like a Steam review scale? In Steam reviews, I don't think it's a 7. I think it's higher. But on a real scale, maybe... I don't know, I might give it an 8. 
I might give Overture a 6 or a 7 and Black Plague an 8. Personal scale? 5 out of 10 is average, but no one follows that scale. I wish that that were the truth, that we could use the 5 out of 10 is average scale. But no one follows that. Maybe I follow it. If 5 out of 10 is average, then Overture, I think, would be like a... Like... Like a 5? <laughs> Maybe slightly above average. And then Black Plague is a bit above average, I think. But like, average is not that bad, you know? It's just, it feels wrong to say it's a 5, but... But it's not, it's not bad at all. It's average. <laughs> yeah, it might even be like a 5.5. It's like... It's still enjoyable, you know? <laughs> yeah, average... It's not bad. You can play it and enjoy it. <laughs> it is an insult for a reason. But it shouldn't be, right? There's nothing wrong with being average. Otherwise... We're like all in trouble because we're all average in many ways. <laughs> yeah, but 50 out of 100 is failing grade. <laughs> 5 out of 10 is like, yep, that's a video game. It's definitely a game. I'm trying to think. Okay, I've said this, but I don't know if I can actually stand by it. I feel like I'm, I might get in trouble if I say this. I feel like for me, Naruto is like the quintessential average anime. <laughs> for me, like if if something is like worse than Naruto, then it's bad. If it's better than Naruto, then it's good. <laughs> That's fair. But no, it's like I mean Naruto is like kind of beloved. I don't know. And I might not even be including Shippuden. It might just be like the original Naruto. Is like average. Like completely average. Average anime. But it's not bad, you know. You can watch it and enjoy it. You have to include the filler though, I think. Like how can... You, like, the filler is really bringing it down too. But <laughs> it is a classic. But that's just for me, you know. You can have your own... Opinion. You should have your own opinions. Don't let me Clarence you. Don't make me your parasitic brain worm. But yeah, that's like... Yeah, like Naruto to me is like average. Average anime. So if something is better than Naruto, then it's like above average. And if it's worse than Naruto, then it's below average. And might not be worth watching. <laughs> But anyway, if anything, if you look at like my anime list, if anything is rated below a five, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. It's barely going to be even like a watchable thing at all. It's going to be, it's not good. Cause what is Naruto? Cause Naruto on my anime list is rated 7.98. <laughs> so, mm. that's the original Naruto, not Shippuden, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so does this mean we have a three point inflation in ratings? But does it make sense? Because there are animes that are legitimate 10 out of 10s, you know? So everything gets like squished to the top. I don't know. This is why ratings is... <laughs> you should not value ratings like me. Don't be like me. Just form your own opinion. <laughs> Name two 10 out of 10s. Number one. Odd Taxi. Number two. Madoka Magica. I think that's what I would say. I think those are my two 10 out of 10s. There are other shows that I really like as well, but I don't know if I would call them 10 out of 10s. 
Like... For me, they might be a 10 out of 10, but I don't know if they're like... They deserve it. <laughs> Mob Psycho? That's true. I do like Mob Psycho. I need to watch the third season. I heard it's really good. But like Evangelion, you know, I love Ava, but... It's hard to say it's a 10 out of 10 because... It's not a perfect show. But I also like that it's not perfect because it reflects the imperfect nature of the characters too. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Said that before, yeah. That's how I like to view it. I like Ava because of the characters being so human and flawed. I also like the really convoluted plot that, like, <laughs> you have to like read the wiki to understand. Like, I feel like the point of Ava is the characters. It's not really about the actual. What happens? But I do enjoy the convoluted plot. Like the eggs. <laughs> and the the I don't even like I like tracking like who, where where is Adam at all times. Except I it's been a while since I read the wiki, so I don't even remember. But I just know and it's like, oh if, if Adam and Eve touch it's gonna like cause the third impact. Or whatever, and then Kaji like has it on his. No, it was a Gendo, like has it on the boat. I don't remember. I need to read the wiki again. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me read the super chats. Thanks for hanging out. I actually liked this a lot more than I thought I would. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Katie, Ishushi, Hai, Jus, Nino, Botan, Jiro, Rabagon, Snip, Susumutsu, Akaranda, Astelia, Glasses, Kun, Ra, Paul, Tracker, Spirit, Van, Eldian, Evan, Slinderman, Lunar, Tentacultus, Miss Robbie, K Rose, Diego, Rosep, Dark Eagle Freak, Jeff S, Kaiju Ranger, Misery, Satya, Noah, Kane, Sevens, Zarian, Great Move, Mellow, Smash the Bear Song, I Run the Wind, Emery Ray, Sakura, Mortal Tom, Copper Chef, Sam, Fujisawa, Chocolate, Dai Dai, Green Tea, King Shark, Thurman, Riona, Nama, Copper Chef, Exclusive Coffee, Aaron, Snowbound Whale, Shrimp Fire Rice, Sigmata Guy, Sapling Bat, Bishop, Huda Boy, Jerry, Kevin C, Sayano, Fawn Dog, Jose, Sapphire, Original Shake, Pink Gold, Daisy, Exlo, Arman, Razzleson, Revelance, Moon Pie, Isaac Wolf, Grumblog, Benjo, Vanta Black, Anime Ninja, Sentient, Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Plant them, plant them, gotta plant them all, gotta plant them all. Sadly, rah. That reminds me, I finally played a bit of Pokemon Ultra Moon. I got it, but I hadn't played it. And I've still only played a little bit, I only played a tiny bit. But I got a female Rowlet. I felt so special. <laughs> I rolled a female Rowlet. How is it so far? So far, it's good. Um... And I gotta... I haven't found any mons that I really care about yet. Except for maybe Alolan Meowth. <laughs> I got one of those. And I got a... Was it a Grubbin? Grubbin. I got a Grubbin? And then I was fighting, um... In like the academy or whatever. And I was fighting the teacher, and she has a Litten, and the Litten was... I only had three Pokemon on my team because I just like put everything else in my box. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want any of you on my team. So on my team, I only had my Rowlet, my Grubbin, and my Meowth. And the Litten like one-shot my... <laughs> my Rowlet and my Meowth. But... Grubbin saved me because Grubbin had Mud Slide and Grubbin survived with one HP and then dodged like four attacks in a row. I I was losing my mind. It was so good. 
Because it also lowers their accuracy rate. Grobin... So now I feel like Grobin has to stay on my team forever. <laughs> because... Because Grobin did so... So good. Grobin's sweep, it was. It was so good. He dodged like four or five attacks in a row. <laughs> Am I gonna name him? Probably. I'm naming them really embarrassing things. I kind of don't want to say it on stream because I'm playing it off stream. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll tell you the name of the Meowth. It will give you an idea. They're kind of nonsensical names. I'm just <laughs> like whatever pops in my brain. I'm just, that's it. The Meowth I named Neko Neko Cheat, <laughs> which is like, it's like meaningless. But it just popped into my brain. I was just like, mm, what should I name you? <laughs> Neko, Neko, G. <laughs> so that's, this is, I don't know. That's how I'm naming my mons. <laughs> I like Lily too. She's kind of... I don't know. Right now, she's being kind of Sundere though. Which was surprising to me. I don't know, and she ke keeps being like, Oh, I'm not a Pokemon trainer. I can't do that. And I'm like, you... <laughs> What's stopping you? You could be a Pokemon trainer. Use your Nebby. I don't know. Probably Nebby can't be used for whatever reason. Well, I guess Nebby used Nebby Blast and then got hurt. <laughs> she is super cute. But the thing is, I like... I picked the blonde character. So every time I see my character and Lily in the cutscene together, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're just... You're just me, but cuter. <laughs> I haven't got any good fashion yet, but I'm excited that there's actually fashion in that game. Also, it's like so nice how polished it is. <laughs> Probably because it's Ultra Moon too. It's like, it's very polished. Which is <laughs> very nice! It's just good, it just works. It just works. And it's very pretty, even though the Switch is like 240p. The music? The music's good so far. Yeah, I also like... I forgot his name. But he keeps saying like... He said, yeah, buddy, at one point. <laughs> it reminded me of our free solo watch along. Yeah, buddy. What did I say? The 3DS? Yeah. I don't know what I said. Did I say the Switch? The Switch also might as well be 240p. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. So delighted. Sorry, I mean on my Nintendo 3DS, of course. Sadia-san, <laughs> arigato. Zoinks, thank you. <laughs> Who's cuter in the thumbnail, Fauna or Clarence? He's pretty cute, right? Look at that smile. Look at that blush. So cute. <laughs> Robert gone, thank you. A <laughs> massive wrinkly brain peeking out of my head. <laughs> Think I shaved a bit too close when preparing for him, man. I should have made my brain even bigger on the thumbnail. We just sing bear song. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> hang in there. Rest well. Yo no 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 san. Arigato. KD, thank you. <laughs> I've always had Clarence made out to be a lean, mean, swabbed up stunner. But this pencil shaving hitting the heat <laughs> is nice too. <laughs> this is. Gap Moe, right? Like, imagine him saying all this, like, horrible stuff to you, but he looks like this. I mean, there's no way he looks like a human, right? There's no way that he's humanoid at all. I mean, does he even have a physical form? I don't know. He did after the transplant. I don't want to think of him that way. That was not his form. <laughs> it's a tiny human living in your ear. <laughs> Mikote, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad you liked it. Aaron, thank you. 
Gambate! Good luck with your work! Bishop, thank you! This little guy is all pink and invites himself in unannounced! Who does that sort of thing? You gotta kick him out of here before he messes up Philip's brain even more! Or my wallet for that matter with more pink! Thank you, thank you, Bishop! <laughs> he can stay, right? He can stay. He's fine. He can stay. My brain's empty now that Clarence has been evicted. You ever realize how alone you are in your own head? <laughs> I mean, it's probably good to be alone in your own head, but... Once you start getting used to Clarence being there, it feels so lonely. Kairos, thank you. Seven, thank you. Mr. Fujisawa, thank you. Skellum, thank you. <laughs> Why is it a sapling hive mind? Because it can't be a sapling have mind. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Take that, sap please! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sure Skellum's just kidding too. <laughs> Mud indeed, thank you. Mr. Fujisawa, thank you. Mike Tyson, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Bishop, thank you. <laughs> Which side am I on in the Hollow Live equals comedians debate? Your opinion, entertainers and talents is more fitting? I think I agree with you. I mean, we are talents, right? That's like what it says on the website. <laughs> um. I think that we can be whatever we want to be. Is that the cop-out answer? <laughs> I'm definitely a... streamer. I'm streaming right now. That means I'm a streamer. And I uh, do idle things too. I have seen like Kiara talk about her opinion too on like idols and stuff. And I, I respect Kiara a lot because she's very knowledgeable about idols and she also... I know she... She calls herself, I think, a part-time idol. Whenever I look at her, she seems <laughs> very, very idol-esque to me. But, yeah, I think... Part-time... Like, I don't... I don't know. I want to be a good idol. But I, I do think I'm more of a part-time idol <laughs> as well. But I think that's like the beauty of Hololive, right? Because you get to know us in our streams and then you can, can watch us go up on stage and perform. Yeah, I also really just like enjoy <laughs> Enjoy being here, you know <laughs> It's a fun time All around Skellum, thank you Oh my gosh If me, Crony, and Mume were hiding in a bunker And went out foraging for supplies, all it bites me, would I tell the others? Yes, I would tell the others. I would have to. But if I can just become a cute zombie idol like Ollie, then that wouldn't be so bad. Maybe I can surprise them. Ballistic Bucket, thank you. Counselor Chip, thank you. <laughs> Marshall Banana, thank you. Roka, dear Sandra, thank you. Fauna, let's say you wake up to find that you, Ame, and Guru are surrounded by monkeys. The monkeys are friendly but really noisy. Ame wants to play with the monkeys while Guru is annoyed by them and wants to leave. Who will you side with? Mm. I would be afraid of the monkeys. <laughs> Even if they seem friendly, I would be afraid. I wouldn't suggest touching them. 
I don't think it's a good idea to touch wild animals. <laughs> that's such a boring answer. But... That's, it's kind of true, though. It's kind of true. <laughs> I would say we can observe them from a safe distance, though. <laughs> yeah, chimps are really scary. Have you watched? Nope. <laughs> Revelins, thank you. Satirical, thank you. Hisatsu, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, so true. <laughs> Black Plague, is what I'm seeing actually real, Soma? What is real? Billy Joe, thank you. Jack, thank you. Actual Jish, thank you. <laughs> Max, thank you. Oh, thank you. Good luck on your quest. <laughs> Meh, thank you. This Dundroid, thank you. Is this why I put cheesecake in C tier? Did I put it in C tier? Did I? Hmm. I did? <laughs> I can't be held accountable for my past actions. C for cheesecake. <laughs> hmm. Akarad, thank you. Okay, Vaughn, a question. So many questions today. You're trapped in a room with all of Hollow Yen. You may receive a hug from each of them once a day. However, once hugged, they leave until the next day. How did Clarence develop an accent despite living underground his whole life? He must have watched a lot of... British television. He's probably a Sherlock fan. Doesn't he strike you as a type? Doctor Who fan, maybe? A Super Who-lock fan? <laughs> Wait, it wasn't British? What was his accent? <laughs> New Jersey? <laughs> How did I not know what his accent was? <laughs> it was Jersey? He must have watched a lot of Jersey Shore then. He must have watched... Why did it... It wasn't British at all? Of Jersey. Jersey, not New Jersey? Is Jersey a British <laughs> help? I'm I'm showing my my ignorance. Super Jersey. It wasn't British at all. But that one girl was British. It was pseudo New York, New Jersey, bust. Why? Why did I think he's pretty? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. This is embarrassing. He must have taken out my language processing cortex. <laughs> it's the only answer. Out <laughs> on the wind, thank you. Shadow, thank you. Hope that... Hope you're doing alright. I wish you the best. Evan, thank you. Mr. Veej, thank you. <laughs> Yudes, thank you. Too powered, thank you. Right? Clarence is the best part of this game. Tenth Dentist, thank you. Misery, thank you. Hope we've all learned a valuable lesson here today about... Not trying to get rid of your brain parasite just because it makes you commit a violent oopsie or two. People can change. Maybe brain parasites can change too. <laughs> Be okay, thank you. Undented camel, thank you. True. These games get weird at the end, right? Honestly, classic frictional games. 
I feel like I am understanding them more. The more of their games I play. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern. And I like it. I like it. I feel like I do the same thing. <laughs> Skellum, thank you. Oh, I see. Mozzie, thank you. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy to hear. Nice! Good luck with your greenhouse. I want a greenhouse. You're gonna grow tea plants? Make your own tea? That sounds really fancy. Counselor Chip, thank you. Status is away, thank you. I agree, I agree. They are janky and incredibly flawed, but I love them too. Yeah. I'm glad. I don't know. These games, like... They appeal to me, I think. <laughs> I like the... The random, like... Thought experiments that come with them. Undented Camel, thank you. Mm, I wanna play Silent Hill. I guess I can play it off stream. I wanna see Pyramid Head. He's pretty cool. Not as cool as Clarence, maybe. <laughs> Fluffykins, thank you. Scheduled reminder that Clarence hates the monkey. Does he? Does he hate us? <laughs> Perrin, thank you. Okay, let me read the ones from the ASMR stream as well. Beep boop, beep -a boop. He was about to kill us before he died. Well, he wouldn't actually... Okay, well... Mm, maybe he was, but we killed him first. Before that, he wasn't going to kill us. <laughs> right? He was... Hmm... <laughs> he was just gonna take over our body... ...and mind. But we would still be... ...living. <laughs> so maybe? Well, it depends on your definition of living, I guess. <laughs> Gaslighting myself. He said we could be roommates. We can drink pina coladas together. No margaritas. But he probably likes pina coladas too. We could have been roommates. <laughs> but no, he's evil. Well, well, well. <laughs> It's his circumstance, right? Right? He was too influenced by the hive mind. He just wanted to be a monkey deep down. He wanted to be human too. <laughs> we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. Inside of my head was a Clarence. A brain worm. He can he can like cut your brain off when you like see something gross. <laughs> I don't know. Like imagine there's like a gross smell. He can probably like cut your your smell off so you don't have to smell it. Wouldn't that be nice? Be kind of nice. <laughs> the IRL sensors, yeah. I mean, there's a case to be made that uh, you shouldn't live your life censoring negative experiences, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But Clarence... Yeah, true, we can erase our bad memories too. All the cringe that keeps you up at night. <laughs> he can erase those horrible memories. Can be free. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read these super chats. Thank you, thank you. Jeff S, Candy, Ghosty Evans, Nip, Fawn Dog, Misery, Eco Freak, Inmate Ninja, Diego, Yuzu, Nino, Isaac Wolf, Arian, Around the Wind, Grey, Blue, Fosmo, Sumta, Tannis, 
Saffling Bat, Chocolate de Acaranda, Indactum, Die Die, Kaiju Ranger. Mortal Pump, Tentacultus, Little Blue, Resusen, Unenthusiast, No One Kane, Echo Sounds, Zizibuzo, Paul, Roll Step, Arrow Man, Dress Direct, Tracker, Lunar, Raid Rib, Obby, Extra Tree, Red Knox, Sam, Terrarinium, Aster, Emery Ray, Copper Chef, Grubble Dog, Splinter Man, Omelette, Luke, Thurman, Satya, Riona, Sayano, Zipfleet, Casual No, CDR, Spirit Vet, Vandamax, Sevens, Botan, High Age, Jiro, Bishop, Jose, King Shark, Cattle Vader, Vertima, Robbergon, Revelance, Copper Chef, Jagged Bloom, Sigma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the snails. KD, thank you. Feeling a bit under the weather today. What a fortunate time for ASMR. I hope you're feeling better today. Hope that the ASMR helped you relax a bit. Diego, thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope it helped you relax too. Thank you. Thank you. Zoings, thank you. Won't be able to listen tonight. Got a 14 hour drive tomorrow and gotta get up early. Listening to your comfy voice on my journey zen will be the perfect way to finish my long day as always. Thank you for sharing your coziness with us. Hope your drive went well. Hope it was all safe and good. And hope you were able to listen to the one. Steven Adams, thank you. When I become 3D fauna, what will I do? So much. What won't I do? I'm gonna get a theremin. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Will I get a theremin? A theremin stream? That'd be kind of fun, right? But it's not, I'm not gonna be good at it. <laughs> I'm gonna do switch sports. For sure. I'll do ring fit. For sure. I also want to do... What did I say I wanted to do? Mm. I kind of want to do getting over it. If I can get, like... It to track my arm, you know? <laughs> so you can see my arm wildly looping. Yeah, yeah. Anything where I, like, move my hands. Doing something... I don't know, I guess just chatting. Chatting with hands. <laughs> Eldin, thank you. Wait, really? The Dwarf Planet series will be at opposition. Brightest it can be on my birthday. Really? You guys, if anyone has a telescope... And you, like, take pictures with it. You should take a picture for me and post it on Twitter in my art tag. And I'll look at it. <laughs> if anyone does that. Dwarf Lana, hey, it's still... Still bigger than you. How big is the Dwarf Planet series? It's a sign. It is a sign. Also, don't, don't dox yourself, though, if you're, like, posting a picture. Dwarf Planet series is geologically alive. It is... The radius is 293.9 miles. That's way bigger than your radius. Your radius is probably, like, what? I don't know. Like... Less than... One meter? <laughs> Depends on your... Size. You're sensitive about your radius. <laughs> You're insecure about your radius. Evan, thank you, thank you. Akaranta, thank you. <laughs> True. Evan, thank you. <laughs> that would be... That might be nice. I think people do do like fizzy carbonated drink ASMR. Yonanama, arigato. Zeppelin, thank you. 
Hello, future fawn. I just want to say that I really enjoy your streams. They brighten up my day immensely. Been a VOD lurker since debut and recently got into a financial position where I can reasonably super and member. Thanks for the stream. Thank you very much, Zephylins. I appreciate it. And I'm glad to hear it. Hope that you are moving and making progress. Thank you very much. Santia san, arigato. Isaac Wolf, thank you. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people listen to ASMR while gaming. I've done that too sometimes. Well, whenever I play games by myself, I always like to listen to a stream because I get lonely if I play by myself. <laughs> so I'll put something on. Sometimes I put ASMR on. Sevens, thank you. Bishop, thank you. Fun, I use Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam Blaster. Double Mean Water. Piplup, cheer you up to the top. Never stop. Piplup. I run the wind, thank you. Oh, cute. Naming System, thank you. Notorious, thank you. Aaron, thank you. Works best for you, not when you're in bed or sleep, but while doing menial chores around the house, like dishes. I can understand that too. A lot of people use it when they have to like, get work done. Like, helps them focus. Or you, thank you. Candy Gams, thank you. Brendan, thank you. Mr. Veach, thank you. Thank you. Yo no nama san, arigato gozaimasu. Stomach ASMR, Tascaru. Don't listen. My stomach? Okay, I shouldn't say this, but it's like too late now, so whatever. <laughs> My stomach was rumbling like the whole ASMR stream. But I didn't say anything after the first time, because I was just hoping no one would notice. <laughs> Don't go back and listen though. You might be able to hear it. It might have been quiet. I don't know. <laughs> you missed out so much. <laughs> Isolate that sound. No. Time to crank up the volume. No. No. Rubber gun, thank you. Oh. Those bubbling desk toys? Do those make sounds? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of good, like, toys that make sounds. Like, baby toys. <laughs> Wayne, thank you. Amato-san, arigato. Luke, thank you. CDR, thank you. New favorite unlock. Thanks for such a relaxing stream. Thank you. Yeah, I want to do more, like, unintelligible whispers. Maybe even like a whole stream of that. <laughs> Plus triggers. Surf and Turf, thank you. Glasses Kun, thank you. Simpleton, thank you. Mm. I do need to get... I was gonna get those crystal glasses like a long time ago too. The ones that... um, You can like rub your finger on the rim and they'll go like... Boo, they'll sing. I should buy some of those. Mofu mofu okami san, arigato. Sakura, arigato. Undented camel, thank you. Luke, thank you. Jeff, thank you. This is tomorrow's a perfect start to a relaxing weekend after a long work week. Thank you, as always, Fauna. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Oh, yeah, like a singing bowl. I feel like sometimes those sounds irritate me. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like it's... Like the reverb? is like reverberating in my brain and I find it kind of irritating. But I should try it. You really dislike tuning fork ASMR? Yeah, I think I would too. I mean, tuning forks in general, I don't... They like vibrate my brain and I don't like it. Yeah, like Clarence. <laughs> Bishop, thank you. <laughs> oh no. Botan, thank you. Majindi, thank you. Adric, thank you. Illa 
Miss Adamas. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I should do another Kalimba stream too with K100. Maybe for members. But this week we're doing Ted Caver Creepypasta reading. <laughs> Blue robot, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And those are the super chats, so we're all caught up. Tomorrow is a Minecraft. Minecraft Monday. I'm gonna probably dig a bunch of logs by hand. <laughs> I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should try to do TNT. Oh, uh, my raid farm makes gunpowder pretty efficiently, I think. So I could do that for gunpowder and then I could get sand and then we could use the TNT farm for the tree farm still just like with manual TNT I think I don't know I don't know we'll see <laughs> I might just Well, it would be with the dispenser. Like, I could just fill the dispenser up and do it, right? That would still... It would still work the same, right? I don't know. I don't know if you can manual the TNT. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just chop it down with an axe because that's easier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, okay, that is all for today, tomorrow, Minecraft, and then the next day is Tuesday, and I will not be streaming. I'm trying to do my schedules, because <laughs> I'm trying to do my schedules to go from, like, Wednesday to Sunday, because I usually don't stream on Tuesdays, so that's why. It's... Does not follow the week exactly. Yeah, 700k karaoke too. Soon. Yeah. Yes. That will also happen soon. Yes. Yes, yes. That's the plan. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, probably midweek for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad we finished this game. I'm a fan. Poor Clarence. Clarence! <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.